Hi, I'm Paul Hewlett, uh, Managing Director of NFB Group. Uh, we do PPE and virus protection. So um, I felt compelled to uh, do a short video really just to uh, talk about what's been in the news and the media uh, for the last few days really in relation to schools, COVID, um, should children go back to school, primary schools and sick secondary schools, um, should people be safe in those places? Uh, is it right for the teachers to go back to school? Are the government making the right choices and doing the right things? Um, all of those things are uh, up for debate and scrutiny. But uh, one thing is for sure, uh, something needs to be done to help schools. Something needs to be done so children's educations are not compromised, uh, be it primary school children or secondary school or even sixth form children for that matter. Um, but it's very clear that... Uh, current procedures and measures are substandard or inadequate some may say um, but from a position of um, I suppose seven or eight months knowledge of our dealing with schools uh, in the North and West Yorkshire region um, we're currently looking after and protecting uh, tens of thousands of pupils across the schools that we do virus protection for and PPE um, in the schools that we do virus protection for uh, since the schools have undergone uh, Viragard protection um, and the protection of surfaces long term, up to 90 days, keeping those surfaces virus free, uh, the schools that have done that with us have been 100% COVID free uh, in direct relation to transmissions from school. Um, just to be clear what that means, um, many of the schools that we dealt with uh, prior to them having our virus protection uh, were very much like most of the other schools. Uh, they were having lots of repeated cases of COVID with pupils and staff, pupils having to isolate, pupils in bubbles or even whole year groups uh, being sent home uh, for periods of time, um, teachers being sent home to isolate, which means uh, bubbles and multiples of children also not having somebody to teach them. So by default, them being sent home. Um, after some schools have been treated with our virus protection, what they've seen is a dramatic change in the level of infections, the amount of isolations needed, um, and 100% zero COVID traced back to the school, uh, which is really important. Um, we undergo very stringent testing uh, with our schools once we've done the virus protection. So uh, we do some swab tests on various surfaces prior to any um, virus protection. Uh, immediately after virus protection, uh, we do some more swab tests and eight weeks after um, virus protection and preparation, we go back and do swab tests again. So we do three separate swab tests across the same and different areas and we produce a really comprehensive report for the schools and the education places that we look after and what that report shows is the areas treated are vastly different in infection control to those areas untreated um, if we overlay the schools that we look after that we provide services and guidance for in relation to other schools that we don't provide virus protection for, the schools that we don't look after will have an increased number of COVID cases. Um, the schools that we do look after seemingly have less. Um, so there's a debate. Um, is it the emperor's new clothes? Does what we do work? Well, I would say the proof is in the pudding. Um, in 100% of cases that we've treated, we've had zero cases uh, at the school. Uh, that's not zero COVID cases in general. Um, but what it does mean is where the schools have tracked where those COVID cases have come from, it's been outside of the school, which basically means we're helping to provide a really safe environment within school for the schools that choose to use our program. Um, we are primed and ready uh, to help more schools. Um, we've got lots of schools that we're going to be helping in January and February. Our team's growing. Um, the knowledge of what we do is also growing. So hopefully um, you've made it this far in the video. If you have, please don't keep this video a secret. Um, send it to somebody that you know who works at a school. Perhaps you're a teacher. Perhaps you're a head of year or you're a governor at a school. Or you might just be a concerned parent. Um, you might be fed up with your children being sent home like mine are uh, from their schools 
Um, if so, forward this video to somebody at that school, perhaps the school um, themselves, the head teacher, the principal, one of the governors, or somebody that you know, um, so we can help protect more pupils and staff in the school environment. So um, hopefully that's going to be of use. Uh, if not, um, then uh, hopefully uh, people might be able to do or get better guidance from the government. But until then, um, you can always call us uh, MFP Group. Thanks.